Hello everyone, Bon Yuki here again. And once again I'm showing Marvel vs. Street Fighter and like I said I always show this game because it has good vertical motion. But as you can see here, I have a new display. Um, the Vizios are great and everything but we all know LCD technology has its limitations. So this is my brand new LG 65 inch Bravo 6. Uh, not the 7, the 6. Uh, you can pick up a Bravo 6 or a Charlie 6, anything from the 6 series, which is last year's models. Pretty cheap these days. Uh, relatively cheap. Still more expensive than, you know, the higher end LCDs, but for OLED, it's, it's nice that it's actually com comparable to, you know, buying like a brand new, uh, 7 series, which just came out, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, what can this TV do? Well, obviously it's OLED. Um, ever since I got my laptop, which is right over there, I've been amazed of how incredible 2D and scan lines look on the OLED. So, the uh, first thing I did when I fired this up uh, after playing a few games of Mass Effect, seeing how HDR10 looks on this thing, which is absolutely gorgeous, I said, hey, let's see how the OSSC does. So, I have the OSSC running the Saturn in 240p, and yes, this is in 5 X mode, line quintuple. This TV handles it like a boss. Um, the Vizio series, they can do line 5X, but it will come with a penalty of 43 milliseconds on the delay. Whereas this one, this Bravo 6, uses a Realtek SOC. Yeah, that's right, a Realtek, not the LG one, because this is the Bravo 6. This does not do with 3D. And because it doesn't do 3D, they felt it was cheaper just to go with the Realtek. Unbeknownst to a lot of people, the Realtek is actually really good SOC. So, with firmware updates, I had to download about four of them in order to get this thing up to date. The motion blur uh, issues that the other OLEDs have are gone. And as you can see here, there's no motion blurring at all. Scan lines are at 50% and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So... Comparable with the P-Series, if you want to get them right up next to each other, this does provide a better image quality. Uh, it's not significantly better, but the colors are striking, black levels are better. It is a better television. Uh, there's no, no denying it. The, the P-Series are amazing for being LCDs, but the bottom line is OLED is the future. Uh, the P-Series, when doing line 5X mode, going through its scaler, as I said before, is 43 millisecond. On this TV, it's 28 millisecond. Not as fast as bypassing the scaler on the uh, P-Series, which would give you a 16 millisecond. But it's still, 28 is still good enough. And this TV can handle 40, 480p uh, X2 mode that the Dreamcast does and... It can do the Xbox. For some reason on the Vizio TVs, I can't get the Xbox 40p times 2. It just wouldn't work. It would work for Dreamcast, but it would not work for the Xbox. I can say that it does work here on this OLED television. And this, this is incredible. I, you, you don't need clear action. You don't need it. Um, no strobing of backlight here, so you get your full bright colors. And, and I'm telling you right now, folks, I, there's no exaggeration. This thing, you can't see the colors on this phone. The phone can't get grab all the colors. And it still looks vibrant through the phone. But I'm telling you, in person, this looks significantly better. Also, the way the, the scan lines just stand out. When you're a bit away from this and you look back, this has the motion resolution of a CRT. There's no blurring of frames. Input delay is pretty solid. I'm amazed. Um... Um, I mean, I knew what I was getting into buying an OLED display because of my laptop. And I tell you guys, I mean, it's expensive. It's not cheap. This is not good. This is going to set you back. So you better save up your money. I mean, this one was $2,500 and it was on sale. Um, the new ones that are 65 inch, the 7 series, I believe they're going for five grand. So no, you're going to be spending some money, but... I've been throwing the consoles at this thing pretty much the entire day. The OSSC loves this at Line 5X mode, and it looks amazing. This is better than the Vizios. I still have my D-Series 65-inch. I still have my 40-inch D-Series. They're excellent TVs for what they do. And like I said, 
OLED is just better than LCD, and we need to accept that. You know, Samsung's going to try to tell you different with their QLED. Uh, that's just nonsense. OLED is the future. Um, you just got to, you know, you're paying a it. You're, you're going to be paying a pretty penny for it, though. But, yeah, I just want to let everyone know um, this OLED, the B6 series, is very gamer friendly. It has an HDR game mode that uh, after all the firmware updates I finally got. I mean, I, I played PlayStation 4 on it, you know, a little Horizon Zero Dawn. That looked great. I played Mass Effect Andromeda from my PC. That looked incredible. And that's an HDR 10. I can't wait for the Dolby Vision patch to come out. Um, I wasn't able to get it. And finally, Bioware said, hey, we have it disabled on PC. I hope they can get that enabled soon so I can play Dolby Vision. This TV does do Dolby Vision and has apps. It has Amazon. There's plenty of reviews you can find for this TV for everything that it does. But I'm just telling you guys for retro stuff, for gaming stuff, I mean, this TV, without a doubt in my mind, gives you the best image quality. The input delay is a little higher, but you know what? Even the much lauded Samsungs that are like, oh, we have 22 input delay, 22 milliseconds input delay on an HDR, the quality is so much better here. It's it's striking. I, I wish I was able to record how wonderful this is, but... This will have to do, folks. So anyway, LG OLEDs can handle pretty much any resolution I threw at it with minimal input delay. I am very, very impressed. So there you have it, folks. It's my new display. This is in the living room now. It looks pretty amazing. It's jaw-dropping. People walk in. They're like, wow, that, that looks like a CRT. And I think it's actually better. <laughs> Less power usage. It doesn't have an annoying whine to it. And of course, it's 4K with Dolby Vision. Anyway, thank you, folks. Have yourself a good one. Take care.